There's a lot of confusion due to conflicting methods on how to enable Steam in Unreal Engine 4. It's a total minefield at the moment in terms of Steam documentation in Unreal Engine 4 due to the large amounts of legacy tutorials that exist for methods that no longer work. The method I'll be teaching you today will show you how to enable Steam in the simplest, most effective way. Plus, our method also works in Blueprint-only projects. First off, any changes you might have done to any files in relation to Steam, please undo them. Even if this means reinstalling the engine because you've made some modifications to source files, go ahead and do that now. Step 1. Make sure Unreal Engine is closed and go to your project's root folder. Step 2. Inside the config folder, open up defaultengine.ini with any notepad-based text editor. Step 3. Add the code available in the description and be sure to change the app ID if you do not wish to use Space Wars app ID. Step 4. Save and open your Unreal Engine project. Step 5. Go to Edit, Plugins, click the built-in button and type in the search bar Steam. Step 6. Enable online subsystem Steam. Step 7. Restart the editor. Now everything should be working correctly. Once the editor has been restarted, go to play and standalone. This is because this is how Epic want you to test Steam. They used uh, some excuse about not wanting the editor constantly be in game, but well, whatever. So once your standalone window is opened, press shift and tab or your default Steam overlay and Steam should appear. Did Steam not appear? There's three reasons this could have happened. One, Steam isn't on or Steam didn't get the I want to connect message. Please restart Steam and then Unreal Engine and try again. Uh, number two, you put your app ID in wrong. You can either use 480, which is Space War, or an app ID your account actually owns. Or the third option is that your default engine has duplicate code. If it does, please go through and make sure no sections appear twice and then go ahead and sort that out. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Anything else will be more than likely to break your Steam and UE4 connection instead of making it. So be careful when using legacy tutorials for your projects and good day.